Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. I'm in the mood for a stew and I have these young men, young professionals, asking me like, what, how do I do that? And how do I make a supper and make it so it's so delicious, but when I get home from work, I don't have a lot of work to do. So here's the perfect, the perfect recipe. So I'm going to put this on my blog, www blogspot, no, cookinguncovered.blogspot.com. So you'll have the full recipe. So up here, I will put the blog recipe for you. But also, um, I'll show you the ingredients in my uh, picture form. But really, for stew, you need some great, just some cheap cut of beef, like a steak or leftover um, roast, carrots, onion, potatoes and I use tomatoes now you can use I use canned tomatoes uh, canned diced tomatoes but you know what sometimes you get these tomatoes in the house and they're not they're kind of going soft they're not bad but I wouldn't want to use them in a salad they would be perfect in a stew and I want to show you what I've got on the top of my crock pot no peeking that's a warning once you put it on you really shouldn't be opening the lid because every time you open the lid it stops or it slows down the cooking process. But I must admit, I did allow Carl to go in one time and give it a good stir. And then when I got home from work, I turned it up to high and I'm gonna leave it on high for about an hour just to finish it off. It's going to be delicious. So I'm gonna take some pictures of this stew because here's my crock pot and it's boiling away and it's so delicious. Now, if you wanna kick it up a notch, there's other things you can do, but for now, um, this is my stew and it is amazing. So to kick it up a notch, I'm going to add a few uh, little dumplings to my stew and I can do that right in my crock pot. So what I have here is I've got about a um, cup and a half of flour. So here's what it looks like in the bowl. Cup and a half of flour. I've got some herbs in here, about a teaspoon of herbs. So that could be Italian, it could be dried uh, rosemary, it could be dried thyme, whatever you want. I've got some salt baking powder, one teaspoon of baking powder. And what I've got in here is a quarter cup of quarter cup of um, butter. Quarter cup? Does that sound right? Yes, I think it does. <laughs> yes, a quarter cup of, of butter. So this is all going to be just perfect. And I'm just going to keep I'm going to keep cutting the cold butter into the flour. So you want it so it's kind of pebble sized like a like the green peas, just tiny little it's called mealy, it's very like a pea, that size. So it looks kind of like that. Can you see that? I know it's hard to see, sorry. But anyway, definitely cut it up so it's about pea size. Alright, to that we want to add about a quarter cup of water. Alright, so just add some cold water. If you'd like to up it as far as nutritionally goes, go ahead and add milk. Milk works very well. So these are dumplings. And they just kind of bump up the stew a little bit no a little bit of a notch. So I've got about a quarter cup of water here. I'm gonna add a little bit and see how it goes. Because you want it quite moist, you don't want it dry. So stir that in. And you want it to come to kind of a a doughy mixture, kind of like Kind of like a biscuit, but a little bit. That's on the water. So we're going to have to, I'll measure that out and I'll let you know how much exactly it is before I post the recipe. So you want it really wet. It looks like more, it must be a half a cup. It is a half a cup. Sorry, half a cup of water, not a quarter cup. There. All right, so we've got those. Now what we do is 
See how it's kind of turned out into kind of a dough? I guess I could, if you really wanted to, you could make biscuits out of this now. All right, so now I'm going to take my lid off my crock pot. I'm going to give you a little bit of a peek at what this looks like because it looks amazing. Let me get my mitts. Bubbling away here. These are just, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see that? That's the stew. So that started out this morning with all the beautiful ingredients, the little bit of red wine, a little bit of um, uh, water, a can of tomatoes, the meat. I didn't brown anything. I just put it all in here, put the lid on, and closed it up. It's perfect. So you want like a mm, golf ball size? Is that a golf ball size? You drop it right into your stew. Just drop it right into the stew. Don't, it's not going to sink, trust me on this one. So golf ball size. Make it round and just go around the perimeter. So this stew that I've made is enough for two people for a really good meal, but probably more like two people and a lunch for at least one person. It's quite a bit of stew in here. So I've got five beautiful dumplings on this. So of the hour, I've got only about five minutes left on the hour when I turned it up to high. So I'm gonna put the lid back on. These are gonna take about 20 minutes, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. If you want dumplings, this is a great thing if people like that kind of thing. It just kind of bumps your stew up another notch. So this is my crock pot stew. It is absolutely delicious. And this is for all you people out there, you young, young people who are out there working really hard and playing really hard. And at the end of the day, you want a meal ready the moment you walk in the door, almost. So thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered and look for my recipe up here um, on my blog which is cookinguncovered.blogspot.com. I can never say that. But thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered. I really hope you enjoy this. Ciao for now. Here's my crock pot and everything is ready to go. The uh, dumplings have been in the crock pot for about 35 minutes. Look at this gorgeous stew. Amazing stew. Those dumplings are all ready to go. And that is my crock pot beef stew. So I hope you enjoyed and thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered.